Today's Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Factory 6. Welcome back, everybody. I am Holly Love, and that is Trip Mitchell. And Trip, we're talking a little wellness and talking a little business right now with the boys from Factory 6. Now, these guys are in the business of solely manufacturing hemp drive products. They are amazing at what they do. They have brought it to the next level. But you know what I love is a good story that starts in tanking especially when it comes to business. And often it's out of a tragedy or something just not working that they finally then find the thing if that you, they end up doing. You know, it, and it's funny you say that we were having a call with Al Bernstein and his team this morning and he said, you know, part of success is just keep swinging. The day you quit right. is the day... You really do fail. The greatest companies that you look at, yeah. all those guys worked for free. They out really did. Out of their did. garage, out of their everything, borrowing money from parents, like starving, yeah. all of that and more happening before you finally reach that place where you have all the stars aligned and everything works out and then you're an overnight success and you're a genius. Lots of ramen noodles. Right. A lot of ramen noodles. Those will definitely keep an entrepreneur going. But Carrie from Factory 6 is going to tell you all about how they got their start in this amazing industry and how you can be a part of it as well. Here we go. Today's Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Factory 6. Hey everybody, welcome to our Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness series. I'm Holly Love and today I am back with our new wellness team members, Factory 6, to talk a little wellness and talk a little business with one of my favorite experts in both of those categories, Mr. Carrie Brown. Hi. Hi, Holly. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having us back. Oh my gosh. Thank you for having me and thank you so much for joining our wellness team. And today we are going to be telling you how you can have your own hemp drive product line in less than two weeks and for less than $500. So you're going to want to stick around. But before we get to that, let's talk about how you got your start and then tell me how you found the incredible team that you are just rocking it with right now. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. In fact, the supplement industry here in the state of Utah is a 15 to $20 billion a year industry. So it makes it one of the largest industries in the state of Utah alone. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, having grown up here a little bit, uh, spent some time in my youth in Utah, maybe as a natural fit or saw some of the opportunity, I just had a bug to be an entrepreneur. But in 2012, actually, myself and some of the team that we're currently with, Scott, Nate, and Will, we first started working on a men's vitamin line. And that was our very first company together. And to be honest, it wasn't going the greatest. And as the business was struggling, I actually started looking out. We had always had an interest mm -hmm. in hemp-derived products. And as a potential future ingredient, we saw the widespread opportunity because it was safe, it was effective, it worked, nobody was doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So that was exciting, of course. And so as a team, we collectively said, you know what? Um, not only is this a huge opportunity, we need to do this for ourselves and for the business. And so we literally took our last $5,000 that we had in our business account and put it all on red, if you will. We went right. down to Vegas to a trade show. <laughs> Quite and literally. <laughs> literally, literally uh, wrote the check to sign up to go to this booth and we had this homemade booth and we drove down and we stayed in a you know dumpy old house and you know all sharing some rooms and food together and and uh, from that first experience and that one little trade show that was really a make or break for us as a business, five thousand dollars turned into half a million dollars in orders. Wow. That is and that, awesome. that's what set, started our journey to start this company called Factory Six and said, you know what? We've got something here. Right. It's, there's need, there's demand. It's going to be exciting. Let's figure this out and how we can do it legally and how we can do it on the up and up and develop a good relationship with the state of Utah and actually help, you know, in that regulatory process. So are the numbers really there? Is the money really in this industry the way they were initially predicting? What's your numbers experience? Yeah, so well, from that first uh, trade show, mm -hmm. uh, going from almost bankrupt to half a million dollars in orders to, you know, millions of dollars in orders last year in, in 2019, uh, we're pretty excited for 2020. You know, mm -hmm. even with everything that's going on, I think we're going to be able to maintain our 2019 numbers and maybe grow a little bit beyond that, and then looking for really big things in 2021. Now. Uh, we're a manufacturer. Our margins are thin. But mm. I, some of the people I, I see the other side of it, the retailers and the folks who are selling online right now, some of them are crushing it. That's awesome. Well, let's talk about that because are there specific types of companies out there that this is just a no-brainer? Or who is your ideal client? Good question. So I think anybody who's in the wellness space already, whether you're uh, you own a yoga studio or maybe you're a chiropractor office, you know, and you've already got wellness-oriented customers, or a fitness product or a gym, right? I mean, really, 
CBD is big enough that there is broad opportunity, I think, for all those different demographics. Mm. The key really is to know you know, what you're going after and who your audience might be. What about like MLMs? Are they getting into it in a big way? Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. And, and we're seeing a lot of network marketing companies or direct-to-consumer companies that have done very, very well in the, you know, again, either adding a mm. CBD-specific product line, right? Or there are a few companies that have gone CBD exclusive and it's just two different strategies. Getting into this space when you start looking into it is really easy to make it make sense, make it fit in and align with your brand and to want to get excited about it. So I'm in, I'm your business owner, what's next? What do I do? Well, I think the first step is let's talk. Don't just jump into it with both feet. Come down and let's go on the Willy Wonka chocolate tour. Ooh. Right? I want you to experience some different products and types and let's, let's talk about how it fits with your customers. And then let's sit down and let's talk about your customers specifically. We want to understand, you know, who is your demographic? Who are your customers you're going after? Are they older? Are they younger? Are they gamers? Are they uh, yoga moms? Once we understand a little bit more about your customer type, then let's also talk about where do they want to consume the products? Are they using your products in their car? Or are they pulling it out of their pantry at home? Mm. Are they taking them on the road? Or are they using them at the gym? Or is it something that you know is uh, maybe broad audience and mass market you're going for, convenience stores, right? Mm. And so there's a lot of uh, things we want to try and understand first and kind of help talk you through that process or just work with you to understand a little bit yeah. before we just jump right in and, and saying, hey, that's the product I want. So from there, you're able to really see how your either white label line applies or a custom line. I think we should like explain what exactly white label is because I only barely learned about it a few years ago and I don't know that everybody really understands what that means. Perfect, okay, so white label is quite common mm -hmm. in the dietary supplement industry and, and to be honest, in a lot of industries, in technology and any sort of manufacturing. I, I kind of use this analogy, when you look, when you go to rent a car from somebody, you can rent from Avis or Budget or Hertz, and guess what, they're all probably Ford Chevys right. or GMCs. The products are pretty much the same behind the scenes. It's the name, it's the brand, it's the rewards program that you're part of. So yeah. in the white label space, mm -hmm. um, or with in the white label industry, it's very much the same. And in fact, I've got an example right here, right? So this is a thousand milligram. This is one of our favorites. Uh, amber bottle, black dropper, very common. But if we were to take that, you could put this product, which has a phenomenal label, is specific to a market down in South Florida. And then this one here, same bottle, different label. Guess right. what? It's really the same product. And yeah. these are high quality premium products. We're good at what we do. And we hope that you let us do the manufacturing for you. Use something off the shelf, if that makes sense. That's white label. Or if you're ready and you already know your demographic and, and you have a channel that's already built up, yeah, we can do all custom formula as well. That's why we mm. say, come on down. Let's visit together first. Let's understand your audience. Let's, let's meet and do the tour and, and talk about a product that specifically fits your need. Let's talk quality. How do people know a quality hemp derived product from not a good one? Because I think everyone's had an experience at a gas station or they've heard of somebody who did who got a really bad one. So how do you know? What do you do? So the good news is I think the industry has evolved a lot in mm. the last two years. It used to be the wild, wild west. It's not that way anymore. State legislatures have gotten involved, state regulators have gotten involved. Uh, from very early, early on at Factory 6, we were all above board and we had good meetings with the state. We followed all the guidelines. We wanted to make sure that all of our products met the utmost quality, stringent, and test. Now, let's talk about testing just real quick. One of the keys to good quality products is having it tested at multiple phases along the production life cycle. So we test at the farm level, we test again uh, when it first comes into our building, into our facility, mm -hmm. and we test again in production, and then we test again uh, before the product ever leaves our building. And so there's a lot of steps that we've built into place to make sure that everything is exactly as we say it is, and the labels are correct and accurate and reflect the quality product. The other part of, um, I think that's a little bit unique about Factory 6, is that we actually do some of our own distilling or distillation right here in our facility. And distilling CBD, we've got a whole other video about that. We can, you know, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of chemistry and science that goes above my head. But the reality is in manufacturing, we need those formulas and those ingredients to be the same day in and day out. Yeah. And we know that you as a customer, when you buy the tincture today or the lotion or whatever it is, we wanna make sure that it has the same taste, the same scent profile, the same consistency, same texture, 
every single time. So if you like what you've seen here today, I would invite you to head on over to their website and watch our long extended podcast version where Carrie and I really dive into a whole lot of stuff we just didn't have time to talk about here on the TV segment. So go check that out and then also like and follow all of their YouTube. Trent the Wizard has new content coming out all the time. He is super fun and there's business tips with Carrie. So be sure and just find them on social, find them on YouTube, go to their site and then I so recommend you get in here or you go online and you make an appointment for your free consultation with these guys. I'm telling you, you don't have to feel bad if you think you don't know enough or that your business isn't making enough. There is no pre-qualifiers with them. You really can come in and glean from their years in this really competitive industry that they have succeeded in and thrived and they have so much respect from people all over in it. And have an understanding of what it would mean for you to start a line, what it would cost, and you have really low MOQs and ways to make it so really, truly, you could do this for less than $500. And it's fun. And it's fun. So log on, sign up, and be sure and get your consultation booked. Carrie, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Talk 365 TV right after this.